Way too hot. What's up guys? Today we're gonna go through the questions that you sent to me through Instagram regarding career as a pastry chef. First question, is it hard to balance your work with private life? I say it is. You have 24 hours on a day and you want to do so much things. One thing you need to do is respect each other's choices in a family or in a friend relation. You need to respect their choices and they need to respect your choices of how much time or what focus you want to focus on in your life. All right, question number two. Is my uh, Spanish perfect or what? No answer. I think, my, I think my Spanish is perfect. I mean, I'm traveling to Mexico in two weeks. Taco time. Taco. Taco. When did you start your career and what would you be if you weren't a pastry chef? Hmm, tricky question. I started my career in the food industry with coffee. I started as a pot washer in a barista shop in Gothenburg. Quickly became barista, got into food, started as a pastry chef. Now I'm here. Los Asjoba. And what would you be if you weren't a pastry chef? I think I need to work something with creativity. Photos, filming. Did you know that I was going to attend to um, a university for architecture? I was. So, what's the worst moment in career in terms of creativity and what did you do to solve it? I'm a freaky perfectionist. It happens that some of my projects takes a little bit longer than it was supposed to, but I'm a checklist nerd, so I do schedules, organize everything. That's my key to solve creativity problems, actually. I write a list of everything that needs to be done the day after. Sometimes that list gets a little bit too long. Hi Seb, I'm looking for a mentor. Are you teaching people? Unfortunately, I can't have any interns at the place that I'm working at right now because I'm a freelancer, so I just work with myself. But I'm doing international masterclasses for pastries. Mexico, Lithuania, Poland, Maldives. And next year I'm going to Italy and Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. How do you pronounce Kazakhstan in English? Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Yeah, that's where I'm going. Sign up to my newsletter and you get all of the information for my upcoming international classes that I'm doing. I'll link it below. What tattoo on your body has the best story? The tattoo that I'm most proud of is probably all of my small signatures that I have on my chest. That's the winning team from Culinary Olympics 2016, the Swedish team, junior team that won this gold medal over here. So super proud of all of the guys. I made a bet getting all of their signatures on my body. And we won, so I had to do it. Now we're gonna pick a winner for the Siegesh giveaway competition of the special design apron. The lucky winner is Francis Derek Florence in Canada. Francis, if you're watching this, please send me your address and your name and whatever shipping information so we can send you the apron. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more of these kind of videos, hit the subscribe button, thumbs up, and leave me a comment of what you think that we should discuss in Q&A sessions, you and me guys together. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. I'm a checklist master. I'm a shiklix, shiklix, shiklix. I am a shiklix, a shiklix, a shiklix. <laughs> How do you say this? I'm a shiklix master. Can you say it, please? I'm a shiklix master. Faster. I am a shiklix master. Shit, master. Shit.